Hello, I'm Kate Bartley. Back to that car full of teens that crashed Friday night on Wolf Creek Pike in Perry Township. The driver, 18-year-old Paige Heindel, died in the crash. Three others were hospitalized. Two of them are still there. New Center 7's Natalie Jovanovich is live with how one of the victim's families is coping. Natalie? Kate, family and friends of 17-year-old Nathan Moen gathered here on the lawn outside of Miami Valley Hospital this afternoon to hold a prayer vigil. Prayers are what Nathan's mother is relying on to get him out of here. They say it can go either way. Um, you know, we're very religious and, and we do pray every single day, all day for the recovery of Nathan and Emily. and. Um, it's in God's hands. And prayer is how Debbie Moen is dealing with her son Nathan's critical injuries. The new Lebanon teen had to be airlifted here Friday after he and two friends were injured in a car crash in Perry Township. Two broken femurs, a broken wrist, a broken vertebrae, a small spleen injury, um, and then a fr facial fracture, which has caused massive swelling, as well as he had some chest trauma. His brain is what doctors are most concerned about. Nathan needs to gain consciousness so they can assess his cognitive ability. As for those other two victims, 18 year old Shannon Foster is listed in serious condition. We have not been able to get an update on 17 year old Emily King. The driver, 18 year old Paige Heindel, died when the car caught fire. The driver of the car lost control. Uh, presumably due to speed on a curb. Uh, I heard that she um, was almost hit another car head on and then she overcorrected and ended up hitting a retaining wall by a water spring. Even though Debbie's main concern is her son, she, along with the people here today, are thinking about the other teens involved in this crash and their long road to recovery. Don't underestimate the power of prayer because prayers answer uh, it's just, God is amazing. After the vigil, some of the people that were out here did go into the hospital to visit Nathan. The driver killed in the crash. We've learned there is a celebration of life planned for her on Thursday. Live in Dayton, Natalie Jovanovich, New Center 7.